Hello. Um, I'm going to do my best to keep uh, this video short since the topic isn't entirely, um, yeah, I guess, fun for me. Um, it's about Ryan Johnson, uh, director of The Last Jedi. Has, and um, yeah, as you people watch this know, sorry about that, I'm not entirely fond of that film really at all but uh, it has to do with some remarks he's made um the first was some uh, he was a he was at south by southwest to like unveil the last jedi documentary that was made i, I believe it's a company the blu-ray um such as it's coming out the blu-ray for the last jedi is coming out this Tuesday, um, but yeah, it was Mark Hamill was there. I believe I believe this was the thing, the panel of it. Uh, I guess I could be mistaken, but you can look on YouTube for uh, this. But basically, what it is is uh, they're being asked questions, and somebody asks Mark Hamill, "What would he do different with the?" characterization of Luke since essentially Mark Hamill has expressed how he was he wasn't really fond of the uh, way Luke was handled in this film he, he kind of showed some uh, uh, a little bit of uh, how he wasn't too fond of how Luke was in the Force Awakens either but and particularly this film, since you know he's in the movie more. But anyway, this question was asked to Mark, and as Mark begins to answer, Ryan interjects and says, "Yeah, what would you do, motherfucker?" And it's like he doesn't say it exactly like that, but it's like you're gonna call Mark Hamill motherfucker. Why? It's just. I guess he's trying to be funny. He's trying to be in a humorous, I guess, manner. Be, you know, very... <sighs> I don't know. He's trying to be joking. But if people are going to say that kind of thing, you usually do it, you know, yeah, with your friends and also in the... Usually in private, like in at your place or their place or wherever, just hanging out. You know, not at a, a place, a, a film festival, essentially, where you're unveiling a documentary and then you're at a Q&A. You don't be just saying that kind of thing to be disrespectful. Or at least it'll come off as such. And, um, yeah, it's just, I didn't think that was very professional, and, um, yeah. Another thing with, uh, uh, something happened earlier, wasn't different, um, wasn't exactly, uh, it was some other kind of, like, Q&A thing with more cast and crew. And, you know, uh, they were talking, it was before the last Jedi came out, actually. Um, so, they, you know, they're talking, and um, Mark was asked about his part in the film, and he's talking, he's like, and he's like, well, well, what can I say, you know, and all that, and he goes, I'll say, uh, I mean, I'm in the last. I'm in the film twice as much as I was in the Force Awakens, and you know, haha, because he was in there for like 15 seconds or so. Um, but then somebody uh, on the panel up there uh, made a comment and said, "What's two times zero? People debate who it was as citizens. Some say it's Adam Driver. Um, 
could have been. Uh, either way, we don't get to see who it was because the camera's on Mark. But, you know, people laugh at that comment. Oh, he's in the film of Zero. That's how long he, uh, Luke Skywalker's in the film. Two times zero, uh, it's the zero. Uh, and Mark had, a, had like a kind of a hurt look to him. Like, I don't think that's funny. And, um, but, you know, he wasn't, he didn't think that was a very funny kind of thing. He kind of looked over like, but then you could see Ryan Johnson was like right here uh, to his right. And he's laughing. And he goes, he kind of moves in. And I'm like, and just laughing. I'm like, why, why are you laughing? I mean, if, at first, I, I didn't really think it was funny, but, okay. Someone might have thought that was funny. I mean, Mark didn't seem to think it was funny. Um, but then, you know, to, and then he's, like, leaning in, and he's, like, about to... He's, if Mark didn't really turn his head when he was doing that, like, his face... Ryan Johnson's face and head would probably have been like very like this close to Mark Hamill. Um in the system. I don't know, it just it doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right for how Ryan is handling any of this sort of thing, but you know, whatever. Uh, another thing though regarding him now, after kind of disrespectfulness of Mark Hamill portion of this is over, uh, he's been, you know, he because of the criticisms that The Last Jedi has had, you know, people aren't too fond of the film. Uh, he was, uh, he's been bombarded by with people on Twitter about with questions and their criticisms of um, just the film in general, from characters to the plot to connection to episode seven and this. And that. He's been bombarded with tweets and stuff, and you know he tries to make excuses for this and tries to make excuses for that, and he's trying to do this and that. So you know it's all good. You know whatever. Um, but he, uh, when he was, but he was talked about because you know he's making a new trilogy. Um, yeah, Ryan Johnson's, you know, has, he gets his own trilogy, um, and um, from the sounds of it, it doesn't sound like he really has a story laid out. Um, but you know, whatever. That's. He, I guess he's working on that now. But he was asked if any of the criticisms he has received from The Force Awakens, like, will he take into account the criticisms? Like, with how he has shaped the story, the characters, and this and that. And from the sounds of it, it doesn't sound like he's going to actually listen to it at all. He's not going to listen to those criticisms. You know, legitimate criticisms. Not. I, I feel George Lucas got a lot of hate, and not really deserved hate. Honestly, you know, it's fine to criticize his films. You know, the prequels. Um, you criticize all the Star Wars films or anything he has ever had a part in, or like all the films he's had a part in, directed, written, produced, or otherwise. Uh, whatever he's been involved with with films or TV shows um, and fine but you know Ryan Johnson I don't feel I knew J.J. Abrams with The Force Awakens I don't feel they've been really getting hate I feel they're getting criticism it's constructive criticism you know to help make the films 
or show how the films probably should have been properly handled with the stories and the characters. That kind of criticism I feel you should listen to. Now I understand not going online and reading every negative review, watching every negative video that comes out or has been put out. I can see not doing that and essentially doing your best to ignore it and try and uh, keep going with your vision of a story or whatever uh, for a film. That being said, you should, when you hear criticism, which in, in the film industry I'm sure you're going to, at some point, whether you go online or not, there's going to be criticism that does float your way that you're going to hear. Don't just ignore it or disregard it as, blech, whatever. Because, you know, perhaps people have a point. And, um, I just, I just don't get that. I mean, George Lucas, he, you know, he listened to people who had criticisms of the Phantom Menace. Because a huge one was Jar Jar Binks. And we do know Jar Jar was supposed to be a more integral part of Episode 2, but we didn't really see him a whole lot. Yeah, he was there, but he wasn't a huge uh, focus point like he was in The Phantom Menace. Same with Episode 3. He was in both films, but not as large as I'm sure perhaps he was going to be. But that was George Lucas. That was his response to that particular criticism. Uh, you know, he did listen to the fans. I'm saying he never listened to the fans, doesn't care about the fans. Like, well, if him removing the characters, so many vocal people, uh, 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 proponents of that character, you know, so, so vocal in their disliking of that character, if him essentially getting rid of most of his plans for that character doesn't say he listened to the fans, he pretty much got rid of the importance of that character over the overall story of episode 2. Doesn't tell you he listens to the fans, I don't know what, you know, does. Um, but, you know, George Lucas, he did that. Um, and then, you know, with the Darth Jar Jar theory that happened, whether you believe in that was ever a possibility or not, you know, that's whatever. It's all up to one's interpretation. I give my take. It sounds, when you look at it, it sounds like this could have been very possible. Um, but, you know, because we haven't heard word from George on a matter, uh, we don't know. Uh, and we never will know until he says something. Or maybe he never will. But, you know, regardless, George Lucas did listen to fans. And I think Ryan should listen to fans that critiqued the Last Jedi regarding characterization and the storytelling, the pacing, and all that. Uh, he should really uh, take some of those criticisms that are constructive into, uh, you know, uh, into consideration in uh, shaping his story in his films. Like saying, uh, I make, like I have said, I've written movies. I have some written, um, but this is just for instance. Let's say, you know, I made a couple movies. A good couple movies that people, you know, they ain't, just say like, let's just say for the sake of argument, people liked what I made. But perhaps uh, a common criticism would be, you know, 
people kind of ex you know talk a whole lot uh, uh, during certain situations like yeah they can talk and have a little chit chat or whatever but they kind of go on and kind of explain the situation or it, it kind of the scene dragged because they keep talking and this could have been wrapped up in a two three minute scene yet it went on for like seven eight minutes you know I could hear that and be like okay well I'm gonna work on this movie and what I'm gonna try and do is make sure that the characters they don't talk a whole lot in situations such as that those like they could just be chit chatting and whatever uh, but it could be like within two three minutes you know it don't necessarily need monologues at all um, you know I could do something like that I could try and cut down on uh, such a on such a thing for my movies um, as constructive criticism know it's people giving you notes essentially on what to do better for your movies it's not like you know that's what I try to do when I'm gonna be critical of something in a negative way I try and I try to do my best to point out stuff um, granted on this well, series I do my best to not talk about films and stuff I don't like, though the exception seems to be with Star Wars. It's, you know, I love Star Wars. But, you know, you do your best to try and make a film that you want to see, because, you know, you're going to be an audience. You're an audience member. You're going to try and make this for yourself and other people. I think another way is if you're not happy with a finished product, Perhaps the people won't be happy. Because um, sometimes sincerity does come across in a film. Like the people who made this movie are sincere. Um, and, um, hey, look, uh, it seems Ryan Johnson was sincere in the way he made The, For uh, the Last Jedi, but I don't know. That sincerity didn't work. Seemed to work in the direction that was hoped for. Oh well. As some have speculated, he doesn't really care about Star Wars. That could be. But he says he's a huge fan, and yet he's a fan of the films. And yet he wrote, uh, essentially kind of makes the hero of the original trilogy expands upon how much of a loser he is since the force awakens because we heard you know how his nephew went to the dark side and he ran away and hid on some place and they find him at the end he looks grumpy and then the beginning and then this film still looks grumpy but now we find the tale and hear what all happened and now he's just like a even a more sad pathetic loser and it's like this is not what people wanted to see of Luke Skywalker but you know whatever uh, that's my thought on the attitude John Ryan Johnson seems to uh, be having. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll just wrap it all up now. It's a lot shorter than many of my videos, so that's a plus. Um, if Ryan ever sees this, it'll will exactly, but on the off chance he does, please take the constructive criticism uh, that people have given you into account. 
don't ignore them. All right, and that's all I've got uh, for you all today. And I'll see you next time. Peace out and bye.